Hi right, guys, welcome to today's edition of Burner Brothers. We got Joe and Luke over here working away. They're in there, they're getting it done. Uh, today is auction day and it's kind of crazy around here so far. It's been a busy morning. We're still short of an employee. Um, so everybody's doing jobs we're not used to, yeah, but we're getting through it. Uh, I want to show you this uh, Duffner and Kimberly lamp, which is going to be lot number one in the auction, and then we'll go right into the auction. This lamp right here is causing a lot of folks to call us, and there's been a ton of interest in it. It is a signed Duffner and Kimberly. Look at the shade on this, and I want to show you the coloring through the back of it. Like when you look at it, that's crazy colors. So when you hold it up to the light, that's the kind of coloring you get. Um, again, here's the front side of it. Crazy, crazy colors. Duffner and Kimberly, it is a signed uh, base on it with the original shade, and it's actually in uh, a book as well. So this, this piece together um, with that base is actually in a book, which is really cool. But this is gonna be a highlight. It's the first item we're selling today. So let's go up there and start the auction. Okay, we're selling lot number one. This is the Duffner and Kimberly leaded glass parlor lamp. There's been a lot of interest in this lamp. Uh, the auction has just started. I've got 3,000, I've got, got multiple bids. We're actually starting the price on this one at 5,000. We're gonna sell it. And I sold it for $5,000. Next lot is gonna be lot number 3,002. Um, a lot of interest in this as well. This is probably a half carat diamond ring here, a really good ring. A um, lot of gold on this piece. And I don't have my catalog in front. There was a say six penny weights. So there's almost $400 in gold, just in gold. And it's at 600 or 550 and we're going to sell it out. And I sold it. Next lot is 3,003. Um, this is a set of Reed and Barton Sterling flatware. Just wrote down a little bit. I've got 1100 on this one. I need 1150. Uh, hold on, let me just get my computer set. Sold that flatware for $1,100. That was a lot, that was a good buy. Uh, a lot of flatware there, it was right at silver price. So next lot is a, a 2C silver cuff bracelet. Now this is a Navajo piece. Um, and it's, uh, 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 the artist's name is, is Tsusi uh, and it's silver. Uh, really good buy, it's almost 80 grams. So there, you know, a dollar a gram is, is kind of like the silver price on any kind of uh, jewelry market type stuff. So that's wholesale level, and there's a really good buy, and we're gonna sell it out, and I sold it. Next lot is gonna be 3,005, a lot of interest in this piece. This is the Gibson um, J3530 guitar, and it's at 1,000, 1050. It started at 850, and now it's at 1050. Um, it looks like the bidding is about done. Nope, 1100, got 1100, need 1150. And just an interesting group of items today we're selling, uh, and I think the bidding is over with this one at $1,100. And we are going to sell it out. And I sold it, 1100. That's a good buy. Yeah. We're selling lot number 3011. I've got 220. I need 230. Mm -hmm. uh, Gregory Hoyer, oil yeah. on canvas. 230. I got a line. Now I need 240. Um, 240. So yeah, we have bidder 240. Now I need 250. 250. 250. 275. 275. Lots of interest in this painting. 275, now 300, 300. Again, Gregory Hoyer, oil and canvas, 300, 325. Uh, I really like the interior scene, very well executed. Um, it's got a great gilt frame with it. This came out of South Florida. Um, we've had it sitting here for a few months. I just was waiting for the right sale to put it in and we decided this was it. And uh, we're gonna sell it out. And I sold it for $300. We're selling lot 3012, 14 karat gold, jade, and diamond ring. Uh, we started out at 200 range and now we're up to 500. This is the last call on this one. And uh, we're asking for 550 and fair warning. And we sold it. Next lot is gonna be number 3013. Uh, the silver, a lot of bidding on the silver today. Uh, so this is a Reed and Barton Sterling flatware set. And it started at, uh, what do we got here? 850, 900, 950. Uh, so we're at 900, we need 950 on the next lot, next bid, and we're fair warning it. It might be done. This is feeding, there's right at 60 ounces. I mean, at, at 20 an ounce is 1200. So, uh, you know, it's, it's really just right under silver value. A lot of these flatware sets, that's what happens. They sell for just a little bit less than the actual weight of silver or right at the silver weight. And that's what this one's doing. So we're gonna sell it and I sold it. We're selling lot 3025 and this is the bronze cauldron. Again, I paid a lot of money for this. I may lose money on this item. Um, I paid a lot, uh, and right, I think I'm going to lose a lot. Um, we, I paid 2,000 for it, and it's at 1150 right now. It's been going up. It started at 400. We're at 1200. I need 1250. Uh, I just love this piece. It's one of these pieces where, uh, you know, I've seen similar items that will bring three, four, five thousand, uh, ten thousand even. 
Um, and this one right now is at 1300. Uh, and the most I've sold a, a you know, a, a nice bronze, um, Chinese bronze for was around 23,000. So, um, you know, we're kind of using all that knowledge put together to, to, to see where this one should go. Uh, now it's at 1400. So it's getting really close to the break even point, 1450, 1500. what do you think about this piece, Luke? Uh, let me look at these pictures. <laughs> look at the pictures. Did you see this before today? No, I haven't looked at this. It's so a 1500, I saw a no, lot 1550. Of it, You've seen a lot of people look. Oh, new bidder just jumped in out of nowhere. A new bidder completely. So we're at 1550. We need 1600. Is How old is this? Uh, 18th, 18th century? century, I think. Yeah. That's what I feel like it is. And it's signed, which is really rare to find a, a piece that old sign. So it's now seen, it's at 1600. and it's it's 1650. Tiny. It's only it's, it's about a five inch Holy wide smokes, piece. That's tiny. 1650 now, 1700. Make it look ginormous. It's, it's now I'm, bro I'm broke, broke even right now. So if we figure my buyer's premium on it, I'm basically breaking even on this item. And it looks like, you know, if you're just watching this auction, you're like, man, that thing brought a fortune. But again, I stepped up to buy it. Now 1700, I think I'm making 50 bucks on it. 1750, 1800. So now we're, we're in the profit because of uh, when I add buyer's premium on, you know, it's an 18% premium. So we're about $400, a little less than $400 in buyer's premium, $300 range. So I'm making $50 to $100 bucks on it. Uh, there you go. Spent two grand to make $50, and that happens a lot. But I love having this kind of quality in the sales. And, uh, you know, I, I do step up and, on some things. And this is one of those items. And I think they're done bidding. So we are going to sell it. And I sold it for, no, I got a bid. It snuck in there, $1,800. Uh, oh, look at that. Another bit, 1850. Now I'm making a little bit of money on it. I love it. So it plan worked out after all. That is so fun. That's part of the excitement of, of doing what we do. Isn't well, it? we've been going since like it was a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, it started. It started at like 400 or something, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna take a bath on this thing. And then uh, now it's at 1850. So uh, I'm gonna give them like two more seconds here. I'm getting ready to sell it, and I sold it. So 1850, maybe a couple hundred bucks. A neat piece. We're selling lot 3033. This is a great piece of American silver. American coin silver presentation cup, 1857. Um, what's really interesting is this is signed by the U.S. consultant, May 1st, 1857 from St. Thomas. And it's by the American Merchants and Shipmasters uh, Appreciation. So it was for, uh, just, you know, it was made to just as an appreciation for this guy in 1857 and signed New York on the bottom. Um, absolutely great piece of American history here and we're going to sell it out for $450 and I sold it. We're selling a lot 30, 43. I've got uh, 600 here. I got 650 now 700, 750. This is a Tiffany and Company Sterling coffee pot cream and sugar matching set all Tiffany and Company and it looks like the bidding is done at $700 and I think that's it. Gorgeous stuff. This whole collection today is absolutely uh, wonderful pieces at every level. And we're going to sell this one. And I sold it. Now we're selling lot number 3047. I've got 850, 900, 950, 1000. This is a 1901 $10 gold coin. And it looks like the bidding is over at 950. Uh, and a lot of these gold coins bring right at gold value, uh, which is where this one's at. Uh, but it looks like the bidding's over, and we're going to sell it out for 950. And I sold it. <laughs> we're selling lot 3050. This is a Carol Felly Bear Turquoise Silver Necklace. Um, bidding is pushed up to $300. It looks like they're done. And I'm asking for 325, and I sold it for $300. Uh, now we're selling lot 3051. I need $100, Joe. Uh, it's a five cent yep. advertising, a 120, 120. Uh, cigarettes of the period. Yep. This came out of a house in Columbus, 140. 140. Um, so we got a phone yep. bidder and a computer bidder. So I'm going back and forth right now. The phone's in at 140 and uh, I think that's the last bid, but this is that group of postcards we've been selling on our whatnot sales and stuff. This is the same collection with all the aviation and things. Um, and we're gonna sell it out for 140 and I sold it. All right, you got it for 140. You got the number? Yep, no problem. Have a nice day. It's been pretty interesting so far today. The lots of lots of bidding, lots of action um, in today's sales. So it's uh, it's kind of exciting when we have these higher quality sales like this. And we, we try and have one of these once a month where it's just higher end stuff. And then we throughout the rest of the month we just kind of mix it all up. Um, what's interesting is uh, for the next sale, I've got a gentleman driving up from South Florida tomorrow, and he said, "Hey, I got some KPM plaques and some really great paintings and uh, good silver." He said, "There's gold." 
So in two weeks or so, maybe somewhere in there, uh, we should have that collection coming in and we're moving back out to the new auction and I sold this piece. Um, and so it's all happening at the same time. We're gonna kind of work through all that. So right now we're selling lot 3053. This is a pair of silver Denmark Arts and Crafts candlesticks. I've got three and a quarter, uh, 375, 400 we need. So we started at three and a quarter. We're at 375 right now and I need 400 as the next bid. It looks like the bidding is done. And so we're gonna sell these out for 375 on the Danish uh, candlesticks, sold. So now we're selling lot 3055, a Chinese uh, Famille Rose, it's got like an eggshell porcelain. So it's really, really thin porcelain on this. Um, really feels like a, like a light as an egg, literally. Uh, great decoration though. I mean, you can see the wonderful uh, decoration on this. And it was pushed up to 180, we're asking 190. And I think the bidding's over. And so we're gonna sell it out. No, I got 190, now 200. Uh, and that's interesting and the bidders are going back and forth um, sometimes they wait till i push that fair warning button and then they want to get in so we're at 200 210 um, and so i push fair warning let's see if they come back at 210 it looks like they're all done and so we're going to sell it for 200 and i sold it we're currently selling 3072 it's up to 130 dollars 10 carat ring with a blue stone there um, nice cutting on the stone. I'm not sure what the stone is, but uh, we're going to sell it out. And I sold it for $130. Oh, somebody no. snuck in there and bid before I could hit the button. Now remember that. It's not sold unless the button is clicked. It's uh, it's all computerized now. And when, I, when I'm talking to you guys, it's not an actual auction happening here. It's my finger that's actually clicking the button for the sold. So um, anyways, let's uh, sell it now if, if nobody else is going to bid. And I sold it for $140, so $140. But this lot's interesting. I wanted to show you guys these. This is lot 3073. This is a pair of Tiffany & Company uh, Ram's Head Bowls on the Master Salts. These are fabulous. They started out at $180. They're at $190 right now. Uh, and I just felt like these were worth five, $600, and uh, they're only at $190 but they're really high-end, high-quality Tiffany & Company um, ram head bowls. And it looks like that's the it on the bidding at 190, and so we're gonna sell it out uh, at $190, and they sold. We're selling lot 3083. Uh, we've got $50 to start it, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, and you need 80 now. Uh, we think this is maybe for cards or business cards or something like that. Somebody mentioned it might be for a pocket watch. We're not really quite sure what it actually holds, but absolutely stunning work. It is sterling, um, and we're going to sell it out for $75, and it is sold. We're selling out $30.85, the antique horse weather vane. We started out at $100, we're up to $275, $300, three and a quarter. Um, this is out of the same house with all the silver and stuff we're selling today, $325, $350, $375. Uh, 375 is the next bid available. 375, now 400. It looks like they're done bidding on the weather vane at $400. And fair warning. And we're going to sell it out for $375. That's a gorgeous weather vane, and it is sold. We're currently selling lot 3087. I've got 850, 900, 950, 1000. This is so crazy. My, my mouse is not working correctly. I don't know if I need a new battery or what, but it's not. Uh, I'm pushing buttons and the stuff's not moving. But anyways, uh, this is the 1897 Liberty Gold $10 coin and it's going to sell out for $9.50 and we sold it. So the Heise uh, Alexandrite candlesticks uh, are, are just, they just sold and we didn't get, we didn't record it as they were selling, but I wanted to tell you guys, they brought $550. Uh, they came out of the same group of, with all of this interesting items, but the Alexandrite color is what makes them so rare and they're absolutely stunning and they sold for $550. And that was lot number, what were those? Lot number 3095, lot 3095. We're selling lot 3103. This is the same collection. Uh, we've been selling all day and we've got 200, 250, 275, 300, three and a quarter, three and a half, 375. Uh, this is a Russian silver teapot. And this is a 12 ounce piece of silver here. A lot of weight on this thing. Uh, and we got 350. It looks like the bidding might be done. And we'll give a fair warning out, see if there's any other interest. And I sold this one out for $350. We're selling lot number 3175, Chinese export bowl. We've got lots of interest in this. I've got 325, 350, 370, 375, 400, 425, 450, 475, 475, 500, 550. Really interesting item. It's got uh, character, Chinese characters all over the side of it. It's got the scenes all the way around. Earlier piece, I'm guessing in uh, late 1800s range. 
Um, and it's at 550, now we need 600. New bidder jumped in, now 600, 650, 650. Uh, and it looks like they might be done. I give a fair warning sign on it. Ooh, we're eating lunch. We put hot sauce on our salads. We're burning up right now. My eyes are starting to water. We've got $600 on this piece. On the silver, 650, now 700. 700 we need. Let's see if they come back at bidding. Are they all done? And this will be the last call. And I sold it for 650. That was an interesting item. That came out of the same grouping. It's been a fun sale today. Just lots of high-end quality. Um, you know, very, very nice items the entire day. Anything else surprise you, Luke? Uh, no, Besides the hot sauce? <laughs> no, that's all my mind's on right now. <laughs> Our lunch has hot sauce on it. We are suffering here. But uh, yeah, we'll keep going. We currently are selling lot number uh, 3185. And this is the retic reticulated uh, Satsuma vase that we attributed to Reozon. Uh, incredible work on this vase. I love all the open work in this. And it looks like the bidding is stopping at 550, so I'm gonna have a fair warning on it. And then I'm gonna sell it. Are you cut back up on your lots? Yeah. Okay, and I sold it for 550. <clears throat> so we're getting ready to sell lot 3288, and I've got $170 bid to start this one. Let me just write it this way, be quick and clicking the button. So 170, 180, 190, 190 we need. Um, we'll see if anybody else bids. This is, yep, 190, now 200, now 210. Sterling silver oriental necklace, and it looks like it's got jade uh, pieces in it. It's just a really fabulous looking piece. Uh, it looks like the bidding's done at 190 or $200, and we're gonna sell it out for 200. We sold it. We're selling lot number 3295 right now. I've got 150 to start at 160. This is the Sterling Silver Cheese Saw. Uh, I just thought this was really cool. It's got like a bone carved handle on it, uh, a silver blade, and it's a cheese saw. Uh, probably 1900 range. You probably use this a lot. I would use that. I love I love having cheese and wine, and that would be a fun little piece to have to cut my cheese with. I like it. Interesting item. It's going to sell out at the 150, and I sold it. We're selling lot number 3332, and it's up to $350. This is a 14 karat gold and smoky topaz uh, pendant necklace. Uh, came out of the same grouping of uh, the, the collection out of Columbus we've been selling, and it looks like they're done bidding at 350, and we're gonna sell it out, and I sold it. So we are selling lot number 3335. I had no idea these were gonna start at this. They're a $600 start price. And we just opened a lot. We'll see if anybody else is interested. These out of the same collection. These are Chinese uh, mirrored porcelain vases with scenes on them. Absolutely incredible. Um, but it looks like it's just a one bid. All the pre-bidding uh, started here at 600. And that is it. So we're gonna sell them out for the 600. Okay, we're selling a lot of Moser glassware. Now this one is the one uh, we showed you out when we were picking it up in Columbus. Um, we've got 550 to start it. We're asking for 600. And this has 28 pieces total. There's a teapot, a cream, sugar, and then a bunch of cup and saucers. Um, and it's, it's less one piece because this is the box that I dropped, uh, and broke a cup out of when I slid on the ice in uh, one of our YouTube videos. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize you broke it. It was at one of the cups. So there was, uh, there, was, there was one more cup and saucer, so I just pulled the whole cup and saucer out. So it's an even set still, but... Yep, and I think they're done, they're done bidding, so we're gonna sell this one out at $550. That is a gorgeous set. You're still <laughs> laughing about it? <laughs> hey, it happens. I didn't know it was that set. We're selling lot 3496. You write these two numbers down, 3496. Um, Mexican silver bracelet, heavy, heavy bracelet, 97 grams on this one. We've got 100 to start, it need 110. Looks like the bidding's done, so we're gonna move on and sell it. And I uh, sold it. Okay, so we are we are currently uh, 3,730 is our lot number. So we're 730 lots into the auction. And uh, we have been really just pushing and pressing along. Me and Ma is getting ready to leave because it's now 5.30. This is the only, we're only selling 97 lots an hour right now, which is a pretty slow pace for us. So what you thinking, Mamma? Well, I think you got a little ways to go yet, but uh, <laughs> I have a little so, special thing I need to do. <clears throat> Devin's game is tonight, so 
I'm gonna go out to school and watch him play basketball. You're, gonna go watch, you're taking off, going to watch Devin play some basketball. Yeah. I was hoping Josh would swing back in, but I haven't heard heard. He might after the sale. Uh, I mean, after the game. If you're still we'll probably, we'll probably still not. be here. I really hope not. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Me and Mom's gonna watch a basketball game and come on back. We'll still be working. <laughs> well, I might see you then. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Well, everyone, have a good evening, and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, Mom. Love you. We'll see you later. Love you too. So what's interesting is we, we did get our BurnerBrotherAntiques.com apparel page open. BurnerBrotherAntiques.com. Just looking at it. Here. Lucas was just looking at it. There, there it is. Want to show them show what, what's on there? Here. That's the, what, there's a shirt right there's there. There's shirts, there's, there's hoodies. hoodies, there's all kinds of stuff. And it's going to get uh, more things over time that we put on there. But right now, if you do, we had a lot of requests for people to sell some stuff. And so we're like, all right, we can do that. So uh, if you are interested in buying some apparel, burnerbrotherantiques.com our website is now open and it's um, made to ship so you, you place your order they'll make it and they'll ship it right out they're friends of ours own the company that it's it's through um, they're, they're really great people they're just a small family business that own the company and uh, you're supporting them too so we appreciate it guys if you do buy something and uh, let us know if, if you do I'd love to I'd love to hear about it so all right Lucas I'm gonna sell this Okay, we are selling lot 3901. This is the Felix the Cat wind-up toy. Uh, I got 160, 170, 180. We just started the lot out. <laughs> um, if you watched our YouTube, you've seen us buy this out of the house. It's a 200 down. We need 210, 220. Um, we're at 220, 230. So really cool toy uh, straight out of the house. Came out of the house with all the Fiesta, um, things like that. And I think they're done bidding, so we are going to sell it out for... 222 no. no i got 230 240 what'd you think lucas did you think it would bring that much 240 250 oh well i was kind of surprised by like we had a 10 275 from or a couple months ago it was a little guy riding a harvard bike yeah and he brought like 150 and i was so i mean kind of expected now so this these, one's pretty seem, cool these old toys really bring a lot this one's now at 275 it, it kept going up while we were talking there uh, I, I put a fair warning price in i think they're going to be done bidding on the lot at 275 and I'm going to sell it and sold it for 275. That's so interesting. Jocelyn was here with me and she asked me what I thought I would get out of that. And I told her somewhere between two and 300 and it brought 275. Right on. Right on the money. Pretty cool piece. Uh, yep. I think this is the last item we're going to show today. So we'll catch you with an after show here in a minute. Okay. I thought we were done talking, but we got lot 3911. This is the, the jointed monkey. Um, it, it, it's an antique jointed monkey. I showed it in our video. He's mechanical. He moves around. I think it's an old stife. Um, it's what it appears to be. This thing is so cool. Uh, sitting at $95. I started at 60. We're up to 95. We're at 100, 110 we need. Um, the bidding's still going up. We're at 110 now. I need 120. Uh, what'd you think, Luke? Do you like this guy? Uh, I'm not really into the uh, jointed. I think they're kind of creepy. You think it's creepy? Oh, oh I mean, I thought it was the coolest thing when we uh, when we picked it up. I'll stick with my plushes. You like the plush, huh? Yeah. I love this early stuff. You know, there was a day when we would have gotten you know four to seven hundred out of something like this pretty pretty quick. Lots and lots of interest in these, these early stifes, but uh, today it's at 170. And that's probably a market price in today's uh, uh, stife. So yeah, I think it's stife anyway. Uh, the jointed monkey is mechanical and we are gonna sell it and I sold it for $170. All right, well, man, we're still here. Man, mom and papa just got back from watching the ball game. It's, we're at eight o'clock and we the are hour, still going. The auction's now 10 hours. We are at, we're minutes. almost done now. We're at lot 39.97s. So we have three items left. There's papa. Well, how'd the ball game go? Who won? We, we did. One by 20. We, one by 20? That yeah. gone. No kidding. How'd Devin well, do? He did, he did good. He did. Yeah. And uh, the seventh grade one, too. Sold. Seventh grade one, too. So yep. both teams won, huh? Yep. We beat Sean. Sean. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's fun. Did uh, anything else exciting, Mamaw? Um, We've been right here the whole time. We actually <laughs> well, ordered sorry. El Toro. We ate El Toro. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't moved yet. Uh, Jason and Josh were yeah, probably there. live down here, don't you? <laughs> yeah. It feels like it today. <laughs> Joe's been down here for how many hours are you up to today, Joe? Uh, twelve hour he's at twelve another twelve hour day, back to back twelves. <laughs> he's putting Joe. the time in. These guys are uh yeah, they're rocking it, putting they're the time in. It. Well, it's really cool is that uh, we had a, a special surprise. We had one customer buy over 200 items in today's auction. That just doesn't happen. I've never had that happen in a live, like, uh, internet sale before. I have with live sales, but uh, that was the first time like this. 
They're really cool. We yeah, appreciate them. Pretty awesome. Yeah, anytime someone does something like that, it's always really, really special. Man, what a blessing that was. Uh, and uh, yeah, so uh, we are selling right now. I'm gonna just might as well tell them where we're at. Luke, we are a lot, at lot number 39.98. And it's what's been, what's happening is why it's going so long is um, a, there's a lot of bidders. We are almost at 600 live bidders uh, and sold that one. Uh, so with the 600 bidders, you're gonna get, you're just gonna get a lot of people that bid, you know, a dollar at a time on a lot of our stuff. And that's okay. We, we don't mind staying late and long. Um, we appreciate every bidder. So like this item, we started it at $2. Now we're at $6, seven and it's still going up just a dollar at a time. Thank you, Josh. Well, uh, jo is that Josh? Jason. 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 Jason's here. Okay. So my other brother's here. I ain't seen him in a month. Might have been longer than that. It's been about six weeks. It's been a while. It was before Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, come on up here, Jace. Uh, I had a lot of our viewers asking about you anyways. <laughs> we're recording right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come, on, still selling? come up here and say hi. Yeah, we're still yeah. selling. We're almost done. <laughs> this is uh, like the second to last item right now. And it's up to $12, a dollar at a time. But it's been it's been fun. It's been good. So this is Jason. Uh, you got You went to the ball game? Yep, just went to Devin's game. Yep, they said he played well. It did. How many points did he get? I don't know. Devin had 12. 12? Wow, points. that's pretty good. You get some steals too. And yeah. He usually does pretty good at that. Yeah, he looked good. Well, that's cool. And I sold that one. So the next lot is our last lot of the night. Item number 4,000. That's the one we've been looking for. And this it's isn't a, our last item. It's not? No. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Call him out. No, this is our last item of the night. The, remember, because I had those two. I know I had those two items that we pulled out of the catalog. That's why oh, it says more. Okay. Um, that was miscatalog, so we we pulled them out. But so yeah, uh, that's Jason. He's the one I was, you guys were asking about. Where's the other brother at? Uh, right there. He's my older brother. But all right, we're gonna sell this one out. And last item is sold right now. This is a sterling silver heart pendant with a blue stone. The final item of the day, and I sold it for eighteen dollars. Man, what a blessing. Luke, I'll let you type a message in there for all of our customers. I can't move my finger. Think mine's any better? Here, tell them, tell them thanks and, and, and that. Uh, yeah, at the end of every auction, we always we always type in a message um, thanking everybody and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So um, that is what is happening right now. Uh, that concludes the auction right there. And then there you go. Well, the auction's over. Lucas has got his lunch box packed and he's ready to go. You're going to work out, you said, right? Mm, probably. You, you and Joe can go do some lifting? Maybe. You know, I actually ate breakfast, lunch, and dinner in that chair today. <laughs> well, welcome to the auction world, bud. Yeah. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Look, Mamaw's still sitting over here. She's back from the ball game. <laughs> Joe's back there getting, getting some work done still behind the counter. Silk is up here getting all the final invoices put together and things like that. Uh, Jason just got in from cruising. I don't know where you get where you getting in from. <laughs> uh, I don't even know where we went. <laughs> don't even know where you went. And Papaw's over here making sure we're doing it all right. <laughs> so the auction is over, and we uh, we're going to wrap it up for the night. Get here, Josh just showed up. Just got here. Just got here. It's eight thirty. Josh just getting back for the day. That's what funny because we uh, everybody kept coming in talking about the ball game, talking about the ball game. <laughs> I'd go get diesel fuel real quick. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I thought you might show back up. Yeah. I. Yeah, Devin played, played good. Play Their team played good. Good. They ended up getting the win, so that's awesome. Now we're just getting finished up here and. Uh, yeah, I already wrapped my video up, but you came in. This is special footage right here. This is bonus. Uh, Josh is back. How'd the auction go? We had a good sale. Long. We just got done. Let's say it was long. Yeah, it was, it was right a little after eight, I think, when we finished. A thousand lots? So. Yeah. Just, just well, it was just a lot of lot of bidding starting at, like, not not as many people pre-bid. There was more live bidding. Gotcha. And so we were starting at $5 and going to 50 Right. A dollar at a time. So that's okay. Taking a few minutes instead of a few seconds? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't, you know, when it's all pre-bids are all in, it's just a couple, three seconds, and you're on the next lot. But when they're all bidding live, it just takes longer. So. Yep. We had uh, almost 600 live again. So. Wow. Yeah. And we're great numbers. Yeah, we're really happy with it. Yep. Well, well, cool. Good. Well, Josh is back. Game is over. <laughs> On we go. And uh, we're, we're going to get out of here. I'll, I'll walk back here one time with you. That You know, that Duffner and Kimberly lamp was a pretty special lamp that sold today. Um, it brought, I think the hammer was 5,000. Um, really cool piece. Uh, another another uh, interesting item to me was the, uh, the the Stife monkey. I think it was Stife. You know, the, it's got a mechanical monkey. I like that piece a lot. Uh, let me show you a couple little items here. There's lots of interest in all of these items out of this little estate. Uh, all the silver, the Tiffany, and all this stuff. 
Um, just one more overview of all of it. And then I think probably for me, in my opinion, one of the buys of the day, three piece French clock set for 200 bucks. I used to sell these for eight to 1200, uh, $200 today. That was a bargain. But guys, um, again, thanks for watching our channel. Uh, blessings to you guys. Appreciate it. If you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do so. Also, our Heart of Ohio Antiques channel. That's art at Heart of Ohio Antiques. This one is the Burner Brother Antiques. Uh, and we'll see you guys soon.